In this example, we will be demonstrating how to create an XACML 3.0 policy in the Security Policy Tool XACML Editor. To begin, we will first run Security Policy Tool and select XACML Editor on the right. Next, this window will appear, allowing us to select from some options to begin creating XACML documents. As I mentioned before, we will be focusing on an XACML 3.0 policy in this example. Let's jump right into the action and select it on the left. After choosing XACML 3.0 policy, this input panel will appear. Here we will enter an in information to help us format the beginning of our policy more quickly. In this demonstration, I will recreate a policy example developed by OASIS. This policy example is illustrated on page 25 in the OASIS XACML 3.0 manual. You can view this full manual at the URL below. To begin, we will first start by entering the example's information into this XACML policy input panel. We will first choose policy. We can skip the XML namespace because it is already filled in for us. The rule combining algorithm that OASIS uses in this example is a non-standard value, so we'll need to type it in manually. Then we will enter in the policy ID. We'll select version 1.0 and skip max delegation depth because it is not provided in OASIS example. And we'll hit add and all this information will populate in the editor. As you can see, everything we selected in the previous step as well as an automated description has been created in our document. We can go back and delete this automated description and enter Medi Corp Access Control Policy to follow along with OASIS example. Next, we will keep this empty target element as it is and move along to creating a rule element beneath it. In the rule input panel, we will leave the effect as permit and then we can enter the custom rule ID. Let's now also space out our rule since we will need to enter additional content within this element. Following the example, let's add another description element and add the following text any subject with an email name in the med.example.com domain can perform any action on any resource. After clicking add, the text will populate in our XACML document. Next we will add another target element. I'll quickly show another way we can add content to our policy that I haven't shown previously. By clicking on this target element, some options above will appear. Due to Security Policy Tool's assistive code completion features, it recognizes that we may need an any of element because we have created this target. It again recognizes that now that we have selected any of, we also need an all of element. If we click yes, then this message will appear again, but now letting us know that we need a match element for our recent all of selection. To demonstrate even another way to add elements, let's actually choose no to this message. You may have noticed the GUI tree on our right. In addition to providing a clear visualization of our policy, it can also be used to build it. If we right click on all of, we can click add match to keep building this example. This match input panel will appear where we can enter our information defined in our match element. We will select RFC 822 name match for our match ID. We will specify string as our data type. The attribute value is med.example.com. Then we will choose attribute designator. The category is 1.0 subject category access subject. The attribute ID is 1.0 subject ID. The data type is string. We will skip issuer since it is not defined in OASIS example. And lastly, we will select must be present false and select add. Now we can see all of this information is populated in the text editor. After finishing with our match, we've completed this OASIS XACML 3.0 policy example. We can now save our project in case we want to make more changes to it in the future, or if we're confident it's ready to go, we can select export and convert our policy document into a deployable.xml version. To see this OASIS XACML 3.0 policy example, check out the link in the description below. It will take you directly to the OASIS XACML 3.0 manual. 
Be sure to check out www.securitypolicytool.com and go to the video tutorial page. Look out for other XACML editor videos showing how to create XACML policies and XACML request documents with Security Policy Tool. Thank you.